Hi guys, welcome to my latest Elite Dangerous video. Gonna take a look at how to unlock Guardian Tech today. The process takes a little bit of time, as just like with engineering, there are materials you need to gather, and there's some multi-jump distances to get where you need to go. The hardest part though is learning the layout of the site. I recommend you come here in a medium or small sized ship because some of the convenient places to buy the unlock materials may only have medium sized landing pads available. You must obviously also fit a planetary vehicle hangar and buy a scarab. If you fit point defense turrets to the utility slots on the top side of your ship and land close enough to the site, then your ship can defend you from the missiles which are going to be fired at you. You don't need point defense turrets, but they're nice to have. Bear in mind that this process will use quite a lot of SRV ammo and fuel. Either bring 3 or 4 SRVs or make sure you've got plenty of sulphur and phosphorus so you can synthesize more fuel and ammo when required. You're going to need a Guardian Relic and there just at the top of these towers you just shoot at that, it falls down then you pick it up with your cargo scoop. And here's the inevitable grindy part. Well, one of the grindy parts. You have to shoot these destructible panels and collect the Guardian items which they drop. You need loads of these and there are several types. That's a Guardian power cell. They seem to be the most common ones. And I find the Guardian technology components seem to be the rarest. As I said, you need a lot of these, unless the only thing you want to unlock is the Guardian Frameshift Drive Booster. You definitely do want to unlock that, it gives you an extra 10.5 light years jump distance. For the booster, you need to collect 21 Guardian Power Cells and 21 Guardian Technology components from this site. You also need at least one Guardian Technology Blueprint Fragment. That involves activating 6 energy pylons. Finding them is the hard part. When a sentinel spawns, it means you're close to one of the energy pylons. There's one right there. Did you spot it? It took me ages to find them first time. They're really hard to see unless they're activated. Now, to destroy the sentinels, just put three pips to assist and three to weapons and you should be alright. When they explode, they'll drop more guardian materials, which you should definitely take the time to collect. Now, I parked my ship too far away from the site because there were other players here when I got here and they were parked in a favourite spot. Now they've left, I'm finding my ship is too far away to take out the missiles. You can either drive evasively when the missiles are coming in or just slam the handbrake on. The missiles aren't all that dangerous, but if they flip you over, you can end up taking hull damage. There's more Guardian items, which Sentinel dropped. Pick all of them up. Another Sentinel, therefore I'm near another energy pylon. The Sentinels stay dead once you've dealt with them, unless you relog. So you might want to go round the site and take them all out before you have to do the next bit, which is against the clock. More missiles. My ship managed to take one of them out there though. Not that one though. Okay, I'm going to show you the site from the air and tell you where these energy pylons are, roughly. So there's one in this general area. And there's one down here-ish. It's kind of symmetrical. There's one in the middle. And if we go to the back end of the site, there's one hiding down here. Uh, these ones over at this side are the hardest to find until you're familiar with the layout. Then you drive through this tunnel to the next one which is about there or maybe a little bit further along. I can't stress enough how useful it is to learn the layout of this site. There's no substitute for actually going there and experiencing that completely no idea where everything is feeling, but try and take on board the layout of this place from the aerial views before you drive around it. If it's after sunset when you get here, you'll be very glad you've seen it during daylight. And here's the most important energy pylon. Yeah, you can't really see it. They're very easy to miss. I'm doing this three times because I want to unlock the FSD booster, Guardian module reinforcement and the Guardian shield reinforcement packages. But why are the four screens? Because there was a failed attempt first. I actually thought the game was bugged because when I tried to drop the Guardian relic on this technological altery looking thing, it did nothing. This happened to me the first time I came here too. Old habits die hard and all that. And I think it's useful to share my embarrassment here so that nobody who watches this video will have to make the same mistake. So here's the fun bit. It's a mini game against the clock. These are just like the data points in my tip off missions video. Uh, basically the first one sets off a timer and then you've got to scan all of the rest of them within a certain time limit. 
Each pylon you shoot adds time to the clock. You get a lot of time, especially if you drove around the site first to trigger and destroy the sentinels. So that added another two minutes. It's giving you enough time to also deal with the sentinels at the same time as the pylons, you see. I'll get another two minutes from shooting this pylon. You can shoot up all six energy pylons in less than the original seven minutes you get, if you get good at it. But if you don't know where these energy pylons are, then it could well take all of your time the first time you try this. Once you've activated the main energy portal up by the altery thing, the rest of the pylons rise out the ground when you drive past them. And they conveniently have a light on them, that makes them much, much easier to see, and obviously easier to find. So remember, this first one's a fail. It's like that first time you tried to use the cargo scoop on the SRV and can't understand why the material won't go into the scoop. I knew I'd done this successfully before, so maybe I wasn't paying full attention. Daydreaming about a nice mug of Hutton's Orbital Tea. Mm. There are five lights, and only five of the six segments on the altar are illuminated. So I tried throwing down a Guardian Relic, that's what you do here by the way. After you activate all the pylons, you come back up here and jettison a Guardian Relic onto the X in front of the altar. That's lit up for you. Uh, just like that, except the Relic should now be taken into the floor, and then we'd scan the big ball which levitates out of the altar which looks pretty cool in my opinion. Eventually I realised my mistake and I uh, understood why it wasn't working. I managed to take so long to realise that, the timer had run down to zero, so I did it again without the oops. And because I want to unlock a couple of modules, I did that another two times. I also drove about for perhaps an hour, shooting out the destructible panels and farming Guardian materials. Here's an important thing, you need to relog to get more than one Guardian Blueprint Fragment from this visit. Some people feel that it's cheating to relog in order to make materials respawn. I say if you want the grind to be longer than it already is, then good for you, but let's just have fun playing. So I've got the three successive runs on the screen now. You can do the pylons in any order, apart from the first one which activates all the others. After you do this a few times, you will be starting to run low on fuel, ammo, hull, or all three. That's when you either need to switch to one of your other SRVs or use some materials to synthesize whatever you require. If you've only got one SRV and you don't have any raw materials, then you'll need to dock at one of the fleet carriers in the system to refuel and restock. The addition of fleet carriers to the game certainly changed things. When I went out to the Formidin Rift recently to visit the Surara, I found a fleet carrier even all the way out there. It takes away some of the risk if there is a handy fleet carrier when you get to your destination. Bottom right is in the lead and bottom left just overtook top left. In fact, bottom left is now in the lead, I think. So if you watch the bottom left one and listen carefully here, you can hear the pylon coming out the ground, and there it is. So that's another way, if you've, uh, if you've got stereo speakers or headphones, you might be able to hear where these pylons are. Bottom right is running low on ammo, so here comes a restock courtesy of Synthesis. If you watch the top left here, you'll see there's a sentinel coming out the ground. Bottom right's got one as well, so that's going to hold them up a little bit. And bottom left has managed to activate all of the energy pylons first out of the three of them. But now it's bottom left's turn to trigger a sentinel. Destroyed. 
so the sentinels go down easily enough, but obviously when they're behind scenery, you can't do any damage to them. Under attack. The bottom left seems to be okay at the moment, but the other two are still fighting. Target destroyed. Under attack. So bottom right has just taken out its sentinel there, is making a move to get to its next energy pylon. The other two are still bogged down in battle. Watch top left here. Got some missiles going up. And you see a couple of them actually got destroyed in the air. That was my point defense turrets doing that for me. So all three are being held up by sentinels here. Under attack. Bottom left is back on track now though. Under attack. Closely followed by top left. Our early leader bottom right is making a meal of dealing with that guardian sentinel. But top left just encountered another one, and bottom left is taking the time to pick up Guardian materials. Bottom left is finished picking up those materials, bottom right thinks about doing the same thing for a moment, but then decides to make a run for the blueprint instead. It's going to be close between the two bottom ones. And top left isn't all that far away either, now it's dealt with its sentinel. Too close to call. Could this be a photo finish? Once you've fired up all the pylons, you make your way up here and jettison a guardian relic while you're parked on the X on the floor. Top left is showing what the altar thing looks like once all six energy pylons are powered up. And then it's just over to the right hand panel and jettison the guardian relic. Hey, how about that? It was a three way tie. Now you just target the sphere in turret mode, you have to wait a couple of seconds for its animation sequence to complete first, and then you scan it using the SRV's data link scanner. That's what it looks like when it's ready to scan. As soon as you've scanned this, a couple more Guardian Sentinels will appear. Even if you're going to log out and back in again to get more than one Blueprint Fragment, it's still worth your while killing these Sentinels. They're a useful source of Guardian materials and you can never have enough of them. Here's what should happen if you manage to park your ship close to the site. Watch the missiles from the guy on the right. Not sure if you could make that out, but my ship just shot them down with its point defense turret. If you're parked in exactly the right place, you can pretty much ignore the incoming missile warning message. Okay, remember earlier when I said you might also need to grab some pattern data? Set a course for Ancient Ruins 3 and fly there next. There's nothing to attack you at this other site, so it's an easier way to get the pattern data. Find a nice flat spot to land, then head on out in your SRV to one of those neatly arranged areas you can see at the northern end of the site. That's those bits on the other side of the circular part from where I am. If you're in the right place, you'll see these things. Not all of the obelisks you'll find are going to be active. You're looking for the couple that are lit up, and they only show on your radar when you're very near to them. Sometimes you can target and scan them without needing to use turret mode, but sometimes you can't. Once you've scanned your nearest two or three, you're going to want to re-log and scan them both again. There are five types of pattern data, Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta and Epsilon. These are required to unlock all the Guardian modules, with the exception of the Frameshift Drive Booster. There's another active obelisk over there. I think I probably scanned these, logged out, logged back in for about 20 to 30 minutes to get enough pattern data. It's a slow process. Bring your patience. 
and then the semi-controversial thing, you exit to the main menu, and then log back in. Now if you don't approve, then don't do that bit. And then you do it again, and again, and again, and again, until you've got enough. Once you've gathered as much of this as you can bear to do, it's time to fly to a technology broker. I choose to go to Conway City in LTT4961, but other tech brokers are available. Now you're nearly ready to unlock your shiny ancient guardian module or modules, but of course we need other materials too. You're probably best to just do a quick Google search to find out what materials you need so you can collect them before visiting your technology broker. But as you can see here though, the trader will let you know what materials you need to gather as well if you just come here. I stopped by here on my way out so I already knew I needed to buy 9 reinforced mounting plates. I used eddb.io to find a station which was selling those. So that means now I have the Guardian materials and module blueprint, I can unlock the Guardian module reinforcement. And finally we head over to Outfitting to purchase one of these things. You don't need to buy it here, now you've unlocked it you can buy it from many other stations. And that's how to unlock Guardian modules. Coming soon will be a video about unlocking Guardian weapon blueprints and it's an even slightly easier process. We've reached the end of this video though and I really hope you found it helpful and maybe even enjoyed it. If you did then please leave a like, comment, subscribe and watch the other videos on my channel. But most importantly, until next time, fly safe.